Hey there, it's Eric, your MLS Carter here at the South Bay Association of Realtors. Welcome to another MLS compliance video. Today, I will go over Rule 7.6 in proper classification of property type. CR MLS compliance have been sending more citations in violation of this, and there are two specific scenarios, and I'll go over both of you. One is the manufactured home. If the field for land lease is a no, the proper property type is residential. If it is a yes for the land lease, then it is manufactured in park. A lot of times our members have been putting land lease no and putting under manufactured in park when actually it should be residential. CRMS will allow you to correct this. You, you re-enter the listing under residential, and put it active and then just notify CMS compliance and they will delete the other listing. And that way you will be in compliance. The other issue is putting one property in two property types, which is acceptable. You can do that, um, but it involves land and residential. If you are going to list the property just for land specifically, it has to be the value of the land. If you're going to do residential, be sure to include the land and the structure as well. We saw a number of citations going out because it includes, for land listings, both the structure and the land. If you would like more information, clarifications, please email MLS at SouthBayAOR.com, and we'll see you next time for the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.